Welcome to Garden Canal Boston. It is our privilege to introduce to you Dr. Bill Spencer and Jean DeFazio for this evening. Thank you very much. Good evening. I'm so glad to be here at, at uh, Boston, Boston Gordon Conwell's Center for Urban Ministerial Education. And I have three questions today for Dr. William Sten Spencer, who's written a new book, Name in the Papers. My first question is, um, Dr. Spencer, you've written and edited 12 nonfiction books. Two of them have been called by critics the most definitive books in their subject. Mysterium and Mystery, the clerical crime novel, and Chanting Down Babylon, the Rastafari reader. Why did you write a novel? Well, this is an entertainment-driven age, and uh, this was my opportunity to flesh out the gospel. After, uh, after 12 examinations of different aspects, um, I realized that, that we need to contextualize things. Our lives should contextualize. And, uh, a novel is a way to create a universe in which ideas are tested out. Great. All right, my second question, Dr. Spencer, is I know you've won a lot of awards for your writing ever since you were in high school, including the Earl Bargainer Award uh, of the Popular Culture Association, a WABC Radio Award for a song you co-wrote, 10 Evangelical Press Association Awards for articles you edited as well as others. Your latest is the Golden Halo Award for Outstanding Contribution to Fiction from the Southern California Motion Picture Council. It was a great year for both of us. Does winning so many awards make you nervous about each new book, feeling the weight of having to keep up a, such a high standard? Uh, no, not really. But thank you for that gracious, uh, gracious question. Um, I, I see. Uh, I see writing as uh, as a, a task of communication and enjoyment, as an extension of my uh, of my teaching. It's wonderful that uh, one receives an award for a book. Uh, I do put years and years into each one. Uh, but uh, since I was a child, I loved to put words on paper and to, uh, to organize things. I could never draw, mm -hmm. but I think in pictures. So with a novel, it's a, it's a way to, uh, to, to see grace in action and then organize words so I can communicate that. And uh, I love my students, I love my readers, and so I try to communicate it in a, in a more personal sense. So uh, I don't really feel a pressure uh, because I just enjoy it all. Thank you. And now my last question, Dr. Spencer, what do you hope people will bring away from reading your novel, Name in the Papers? Uh, hope. Hope is really a novel about community and grace that God runs right down through the center of our uh, confused and messy lives. And God is the one who raises up the low places and brings down the mountains. And I hope that people will come away from it having had a wonderful adventure and at the same time, to feel a sense of community, a sense of God's grace, and a sense of hope. Uh, after all, our hope rests in Jesus Christ, the one who conquered death. And in a way, uh, a story is uh, just a little symbol of conquering death in the microcosm, as Jesus did in the macrocosm. Thank you so much, Dr. Spencer, and thank you, all of you out there, for being with us today. <laughs>